So what's next? Okay, here's a few updates. First is that this computer has a name, but it's not only the name for this computer. Because this is actually an architecture, just like the PC. You you, you will say that you I bought I bought a PC, and that doesn't mean that you bought an original IBM 5150. Remember, that's called a PC, and the 5160 is called a PC XT. And most of the computers nowadays are actually PC 80 compatible. So. But you would still say I bought a PC. So remember, the name is not for this motherboard, and it's not only for the production board. This architecture is actually upgradable. You can upgrade the graphics, the RAM, the sound. You can actually upgrade beyond four megabytes. Although I said it had four megabyte maximum, but. It's like this architecture can support for a megabyte maximum, but you can build other architecture that supports like four gigabyte and still be compatible with existing software. That's why I'm building this computer. I think that answers some questions. So what's the name? The name is Hack or H. E C. Now, what is HACK? It stands for Hanker Educational Computer. However, I am not sure about the educational part because I also wanted to make it Hanker Entertainment Computer because I want to emphasize like the games and entertainment part of it. Also, it can be Hanker Education Computer. So, it does not sound grammatically correct, but when you're naming your product, you generally don't care that much about grammar, I think. This is basically a nod to like those 80s home computers. They advertise themselves as educational, but actually, people bought those computers to play games. Also, this is a nod to the CEC, which is the, I think it's the Chinese education computer, which is an Apple II clone, which is also the only home computer that is available to Chinese people in the 80s. So that explains the educational computer part. How about Hanker? Hanker is H-A-N-K-E-R, which is an English word. And I won't go into the explanation of why it is that word, because it is a complicated story, and it was a video of itself. And one of the reasons why I chose the name is that it sounds cool. It's like hack. And also, I can call my user group hackers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this name is kind of finalized. Of course, like the entertainment and education and educational part is still kind of not finalized, but the majority part of it is. So if you want to, if you still have a great name, you can still submit it, but I think hack is the way to go. Of course, when you submit your name, you need to attach the reason for it. Now that's it for the naming bit.